Good morning ladies and gentlemen, my name is Napoleon Total. Today we're back with another enlisted free-to-play guide for the game. Obviously, this video has been made possible for friends at Discord, meaning that if you haven't liked, subscribed, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you do. But that's it, let's get started with today's video, and that is gonna be Allies Moscow. With the starting squads of Allies Moscow, you have the Rifleman Squad, a Sniper Squad, and a Tank Squad. The Tank is the T-60, which is a pretty solid tank, it's better than the Panzer III. The Rifleman Squad is the downside, you do have a Mosin, but uh, it's a Mosin without a good sight, in my opinion, and without a Bayonet, which is an actual downside. And then you finally have the Mosin Sniper Rifle, which is actually comparable with the German Car 98K. But that said, Let's move on to the next levels. For level 2, you have the Assaulter, the PPD-34. It's a pretty good SMG, better than the MB-28 in that, uh, would you get it in your squads? Maybe. Uh, I highly suggest that you put any weapon that you can get and put it Assault weapon that you can get in the early game and give it to your Assaulters. Um, I'll tell you basically guys when to buy as many Assaulter weapons as possible at that point. But, level 2, Assaulter squad, level that up, and you're gonna thank me for it. Level 3, the Engineer Battalion, upgrade that thing up. The Mosin Dragoon is pretty good, but and honestly, you really don't have a choice. You Russia really has, the Soviet Union has really bad rifles at the at this at this stage of the game. Level 4, the IL-153 M62. Comparison with the HS-125, this thing has 4 rockets, which is absolutely terrifying. 8 rockets to be exact, but 4 volleys, so that's gonna be terrifying. But that said, uh, moving on, uh, should you get this thing? Uh, instead of a tank? Depends on you, I will say no, but yeah. Uh, level 5, the Taz B is shotgun, a two barrel shotgun, very interesting. Uh, don't get this for now. Level 16, you have the Mosin 1938 carbine, and yeah, that's that. Radio Operator Squad, you really need it, so put it in your lineup. Level 7, uh, it's basically the Soviet version of the Stuka, but this is the IL-2 1941. It's better than the Stuka with the bomb load and the rocket load. And yes, this thing has rockets, so that's going to be really, really good. Highly suggest that you use this thing over a tank. Level 8, you have a T-26. For me, I have a bad impression of these tanks, and that's mostly because they're just getting blown up left and right, so that's going to be bad. Uh, honestly, you can still use it and get good kills, but I'll be using an IL-2. Level 9, a PTRD-41, pretty much useless in my opinion, um, don't use it, don't take it out, and yeah. Level 10, you have the Matson. is this thing good? No, um, well, the Matson, in my opinion is not the best, the rate of fire is quite low, the ammo count is low, but the only saving grace is the fact that it has a one shot kill potential, and yeah, that's that. But the Machine Gunner Squad is really useful, I highly suggest that you have it, and you have actually have the, the ability to literally deploy a Dushka in this case, and the Dushka is really good. Level 11 is where you get the PVD 3438. This thing is absolutely amazing. This thing can counter any German SMG on the field. Would I suggest that you deploy it in every one of your Assaulter squads? Yes, I highly suggest that you do it. Give it to basically everyone that can hold this weapon. And you're gonna thank me for it. So yeah, get this weapon, max it out. Really good weapon. Really, you should really thank me for telling you to do this. 71 round magazine. Fire is faster than any German weapon in 71 round magazine. That is insanity. The only issue that you're gonna have is we're gonna pretty much run out of ammo before you kill like half the German team. But that's it, that's that. Let's move on to level 12. The BT-7, a pretty good tank in general. The only finicky thing about this is the... Uh, Commander's Cupola. I don't really like the Commander's Cupola, but that's that for me. Um, you can still get good kills with the BT-7. Really good fast tank, in my opinion. Level 13, the Winchester N-895. The good thing about this is that it's a really good upgrade to every Soviet weapon you have, those rifles, to be exact. But the issue is that it comes so late that it's really not worth it. Like, just wait a few more levels and you're going to be giving the SVT. And c trust me, those levels are going to be coming in fast. That said, uh, if you have the spare Silver Order tickets, use it. Uh, the Winchester M1895 is a really good rifle, really fast reload, really fast just shooting people off the bat. But that said, that's that. Move on to level 14, RM38. Would I suggest that you get it? No. no. That's not really useful. Level 15, you have the Yak-1. Once again, uh, Soviet planes, pretty good. 20mm cannons, really good. Devastating bomb load. 
Would I suggest that you use it over IL-2 or BT-7? No, not really. Oh, by the way, for those that are wondering, should you either get the IL-2 or the BT-7? Really depends on your position. I sometimes personally go for IL-2, but sometimes I just switch it out for a BT-7. So once again, your decision. Level 16 is which the Soviets get their first semi-automatic rifle. Yes, I'm not joking with this point. The SVT-38. This thing is literally a assault rifle with that is semi-automatic and is given a scope. Would I use, be, be using this thing with my sniper squads? Yes, I would be using this. I'll be putting this thing in with my sniper squads. That's that. Level 17, Mosin Rifle with a Grenade Launcher. Also give this to your rifleman. You'll be really needing this. You'll be really thanking me. Do not get the Rifleman 2 squad because that thing is useless, um, but get your grenade thrower on your dudes and give it to pretty much every person. Level 18, the ROK 2. Would I be using flamethrowers in Listen, Not really, I don't really use that many flamethrowers because at this point you have to be imagining yourself, how am I going to be getting kills really quick, really fast? And that is by using the Assaulter squad, the Machine Gunner squad, and for one enlisted, yeah, for this campaign, yeah, you might want to switch out your Assaulter Squad with the Flamethrower Squad just because the Flamethrower Squad technically gives you the ability to deploy two Assaulters with it, so that's that. Um, yeah, you could potentially deploy ROK too. Level 19, you get a PE3. This thing is um, Heavy Bomber enlisted with a massive bomb load of four 100 kg bombs and a pretty good defensive armament and an offensive armament so yeah that's pretty amazing level 20 if they get the dp27 this thing is amazing get it uh rip get back your machine gun squad if you're using it and give this to pretty much your machine gunners this is really really deadly really really good basically the accordion because of the shape of the uh, magazine so that's that level 21 you get the svt38 with the it, engineer squad so honestly if you haven't been putting in engineers by now with your entire army at this point you're doing something wrong and I highly suggest before this point like within the first 10 levels you give every squad an engineer that said SV238 pretty good ri rifle has a has a good sights better reloaded than a Gewehr 41 and has a pretty good bayonet the T20A a good tank I will actually suggest that you use this above anything else as of right now um, the 76mm gun, that's the main selling point, is pretty good, L10, pretty good, a lot of defensive machine guns, 3 defensive machine guns, so that's that. Level 23, the RM40, another mortar, would I be getting it? No, sadly not. Level 24, you have the SVT-40 sniper, would I be getting this? Hell no. I'd rather be using the SVT-38 sniper, and it's basically the same thing, so why am I bothering to get the SVT-40 sniper rifle? I don't know. Level 25, you get the SB-2M, basically 600kg bombs, 4 descendants of machine guns, which is literally terrifying. This The Soviets gets a lot of good bombers to Moscow, which is literally terrifying. Level 26, the Soviets get another massive upgrade, and they get the PPD-40. This thing has a better sights, better rate of fire and better damage technically than the PPD-3840. And should you be getting this? Yes. Uh, is it technically similar to the PPD-3840? Yeah, it is. So really up to you if you really want to change, and rate of fire is an increase, but that also means that you're using ammunition quicker. So it really depends on to you if you want to switch out the PPD-40 against the PPD-3840, so yeah. Obviously if you have the silver orders, go for it. Old 27 AVS 36. Get this weapon. This is basically a fully automatic assault rifle that has 15 round magazine. Would you would you be getting this? Would I be getting this? Yes, I would be getting this thing. This thing is insanity. I've seen people just mow through entire armies with the AVS 36. So yeah, really get this thing. You're gonna thank me for it. T t level 28, the PTRS 41. Interesting weapon, but not a lot of tanks that you should be worrying about in Moscow. Not until, at least not right now, technically. Level 29, you have the T-50. Now, here's the issue that a lot of people have. T-50 is pretty much undestroyable front-on, unless you aim for the cupola on the top. But the T-28 has a, has a better gun. So, would you sacrifice armor for a better gun? Really depends on you. I'm not going to give you guys the answer because I have my own answer, but... I'm just gonna give you guys uh, a p option. Would you want more armor, or to be exact, more slope armor, or do you want a better gun? That's up to you guys. 
Both of them are pretty good tanks, of course. The T28 and the T50. Now, level 30, you're, you have to be getting this weapon. The PP, the PBSH-41 or the Papa Shah. This thing is literally 71 rag magazine, direct upgrade of the PPD-40, fires a hundred... A thousand shots per minute without an upgrade. This thing is literally terrifying. Literally get it, put it in every one of your dudes, and you will be thanking me for this. Level 31, you have the Sniper AVS-36. Um, once again... Is it worth it with a scope? Uh, this time is slightly uncontrollable with a scope, so yeah. By this point, you should be giving uh, squads. You should be getting your assaulter squad, another assaulter squad, and three assaulter squads basically, and put them in your lineup and get. And then you can put in a tank that could be either a heavy bomber, a vehicle heavy bomber such as the SB2M, the T50, or essentially a T28. Really depends up to you at this point. But three assaulter squads. A vehicle slot, not snipers at this point compared to the Axis. Uh, level 32, you have the MiG 3. Two 20mm cannons, um, pretty much useless. Literally useless. Level 33, you have another flamethrower, the ROK S3. Yeah, um, I would not suggest that you use it. Uh, level 34, you have a T28E. It does slightly have more armor, a 76mm gun, and three machine guns. So, if you ask me, is this worth it as a direct upgrade to the T28? Yes. Uh, should you be getting this over the T50? Really depends on your, once again, your position. Will you sacrifice armor for a gun? And the T28s have better guns than the T50. So, yeah, really up to your decision. Level 35, you have the crep up, uh, you have the direct upgrade for the DT machine guns, and that is the DT29. Literally, 63 rounds. A pretty good machine gun, overall gun, yeah, just put it in your squads. Level 36, you have the PE2. This thing is... I don't even know what to say of this. Uh, it has 6 100kg bombs, 2 12.7 machine guns, 1 7.62 machine gun, and 3 7.62 defensive machine guns. This thing is literally terrifying. And level 37, there is no choice whether or not you will be getting this, you will be getting this. This is a T-34 with the L-11 cannon. Would you be getting this? Yes. Should you be getting this? Yes. Is this thing overpowered as of right now? Yes. Should you actually use it? Yes. Literally. Take this thing out onto the battlefield and you're going to get a lot of kills. A T-34, you're basically unpenetrable by 99% of the German team. So yes, take this thing out. The only threat is in the air, and that is against Stuka, so that's that. Level 38, a Fedorov Automat. Will you be getting this over to Papa Shaw, the PPSH-41? Depends on you, depends on your playstyle. A uh, Fedorov Automat can easily down a person. The Papa Shaw fires faster, and honestly, for my playstyle, I prefer the Papa Shaw, the PPSH-41, over this thing. But are these devastatingly effective weapons? Yes, they are. Um... Yeah, so really depends up to you. It, the Federal Automatic, from what I've been hearing, is better at range and better at killing people, but the Papa Shot is better at close quarter combat, so yeah. So, once again, depends up to you which weapon you choose, the Federal or the Papa Shot, the PPSH-41. Level 39, you have another T-34, 1941. I... Technically, believe they're pretty much the exact same thing, albeit you do have a lot more armor on the uh, T-34. Yeah, so that's gonna be a good thing. The T-34-1941 variant. So that's a good thing. Cannon's the F-34 cannon, so the cannon's slightly uh, different, but still a T-34 deploy this thing. You're really gonna thank me for it. Really, really powerful. Really, really deadly. And that's that. Um, that's that for Allies Moscow, apparently. A very... In my opinion, overpower compared to Axis in Moscow. So yeah, very good lineup, very good setup. A little issue with the beginning, but overall very good stats, very good weapons, and yeah, that's that. Of course, this video has been made possible for friends at Discord, meaning that you haven't liked, subscribed, or joined Discord. I highly suggest that you do. I hope this video has been helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.